Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we have another test ride for you. That's where we hand gear over to our team test pilot who gives you that real world in the saddle feedback. Today, we have the brand new Shoei X15. This is the flagship racing helmet from Shoei Helmets. We've handed over to our team test pilot who's put it through some hot laps at the track and is going to give you that feedback. Of course, the track is where the X15 is most at home. Now, before we jump into that, remember you can support us here at speedaddicts.com by shopping with us. And we do appreciate that. We make it real easy here. There's gonna be a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to speedaddicts.com, show you all the different colorways of the X15. And there are some killers out there. You can check that out as well as any other parts or gear you might need for your two, next two wheel adventure at speedaddicts.com. And remember when you're shopping for gear online, you really should be shopping with us because we're gonna hook you up with no cost returns. That's right, we don't nickel and dime you like those other guys. If you have an issue with the size, just decide it's not for you, you're gonna get a no cost return label, return shipping's on us, return it, exchange it, whatever you gotta do, we got you covered over here at SpX with your next gear purchase. With that, we'll send it out to the team test pilot at the track, take it away. Hey, Speed X TV family, look what we have here. Showy Helmets X15 helmet. This is a full face street bike helmet for all you riders out there who want to go fast, whether it's on the street or racetrack. Now this X15 sits atop Showy's model lineup. It comes from a long lineage of X specification helmets. Now the X15 has a distinction of being the only helmet that offers virtually every safety certification. It's DOT labeled, Snell certified, ECE rated, and homologated for FIM competition. So you're going to see it inside the MotoGP paddock worn by riders like Repsol Honda's Mark Marquez. Now this X15 comes in a wide variety of sizes sizes, extra small all the way to double XL. Here's the shell breakdown. Extra small and small share a shell size. Medium gets its own shell, as does large, and extra large and 2XL share a shell size. We're wearing a size small, which weighs in at 3.65 pound. Now this gloss black X15 retails for $900. It comes with a clear pin lock ready and tear off ready visor. The pin lock insert is included with the purchase. We fitted Shoei's optional dark smoke face shield, which is a $60 or $70 upcharge. It's also worth mentioning that Shoei is one of the few helmet manufacturers to offer a transitions face shield. That face shield automatically darkens based on the amount of light outside. It's a little expensive at just north of $200, but if you're the rider who rides day or night and wants a seamless option for clear visibility at all times, that photochromatic transition shield is a must have. Now Shoei really sets apart from the competition with its quality of manufacturing. This is a very well-made helmet. It's very customizable on the interior, has a variety of vents. It's one of the more versatile, high-performance track day helmets out there. As usual, Shoei stands behind this product with a five-year warranty. All right, folks, enough talking about this X15. Let's put it on and see how it performs on BMW's M1000RR. What's up, Speed Addicts TV family? Welcome to the racetrack. Today we're riding in Shoei's all-new X15 helmet here at the racetrack where it was engineered to be used. Right away, putting on this X15. These Shoei's are so awesome just because they offer a very precise fit. Now, in, in unison with its RF1400 and every new version of Shoei's full face street bike helmets that they've made for the last few years. Every time they do a big overhaul, these helmets get just a, a wee bit tighter feeling. So it's not enough where you're gonna actually have to change sizes, but it's just something to note that these helmets, the X15 is just a little bit more snug fitting, fitting than the previous X14, as the X14 was a little bit more snug fitting than the previous X12. We are wearing a size small in this X15. And the neat part about this helmet is the interior is fully customizable. You can modify the way the top crown sits. You can modify the, the front temple area, the pad and the rear rear pad where your skull affixes to the back of your neck and you can tweak all of these pads. Shoei did an ingenious system where they added foam that's really easily easily removed and added. So you can really get that fit to the way you want it to fit. Ooh, yeah. 
So fit on this helmet is downright awesome. Ventilation. Now we're riding with this helmet with all of the vents open except for the chin vents. And we have the chin vents closed so you folks can hear us better without any wind noise. And the ventilation system on this helmet, it's noticeably better than the X14. The, the Shoei helmets have never really had a particularly robust, robust ventilation system. Sorry folks, we popped into neutral. I had to pause to gather my thoughts. Shoei helmets have never really had a robust ventilation system and but this everything changes with this x15 you can really feel the air rushing over the top crown of my head right now and it just makes for a much more oh yeah comfortable experience when you're doing triple digit speeds you got to remember if you're comfortable on track you're going to be able to set fast laps and this x15 allows you to be very comfortable aerodynamics now it's always difficult to ascertain the aerodynamic efficiency of a helmet even on the racetrack but here this helmet it seems to be penetrating the air fairly well i can't really notice the difference between the X14. To be fair, this isn't a super fast racetrack. We're only using third gear, top of third. I'm sorry, top of fourth. So not a particularly fast racetrack, but even with my head in the slipstream, my, my head feels very stable. It's not bouncing around. It's not moving around. Part of the reason why it's not is just that, that precise fit that the X15 offers. The fit on this helmet is just excellent. When you have these helmets sized properly to your head and, and make sure you adjust the internal padding to what you need, these helmets literally fit your head like a glove. Right? There's no movement. It feels like an extension of your body. And that's one area where the helmet just doesn't have any buffeting. It doesn't wiggle around. It doesn't move. It doesn't flop down when you're braking and then flop back forward when you're under acceleration. And the aerodynamics just plays into the quietness. Now, we're operating this bike with Honeywell earplugs. And the interior of the helmet is, it's not very loud. It's very easy to focus on the task at hand. It's just braking right now, whoa! And that's what you really want in a high-end track helmet. You just want a helmet that allows you to concentrate on the task at hand, which is riding this BMW M1000 R. Oh, yeah. Overall quality of this helmet, I mean, from the moment we took it out of the box, these helmets are just, they're stunning. There's a reason why Shoei is renowned for these handcrafted Japanese helmets. Just the fit and finish of all the parts from the from the air ducts to the interior of the helmet to the paint. These things are really well-made helmets. And if you're someone who's looking for just a real high-end helmet that works really good, you're gonna like this X15. They are just awesome helmets. Well, folks, that wraps up a quick review of Shoei's X15 helmet from the racing track. This helmet is just awesome. Fit is excellent. Ventilation is much improved. The eye port is nice and wide, and it's built very well. All right, folks, as always, make sure to check out speedaddicts.com for all of your helmet shopping needs. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And sound off in the comments section. Sound off in the comments section. What do you think of Shoei's X-15 helmet? We'll see you next time.